The, uh, the only injury of note, uh, and it's unfortunate because it's, it's potentially a serious one, is, uh, is Gabriel has a uh, uh, fractured orbital socket. Uh, he's in the hospital. Uh, and it's something that uh, we don't know at this point, but could potentially uh, require surgery. Um, again, another frustrating one. Um, kind of story of the season. You know, outmanned, and uh, you know, we, we fought our tails off and, and found a way to be down five in the, in the fourth quarter. And unfortunately, it, it uh, unraveled for us late, turning the ball over. Uh, but I just, you know, as I told the guys after, it couldn't be more proud of the effort. You know, a week with, uh, you know, just so much going on. You know, just all the, the, the negativity swirling around it. Just all the, you know, the stuff that was out there. Uh, for our guys to, to stay focused, you know, great test of their mental toughness. And, uh, you know, I thought we, you know, coaches hung in there and coached their butts off and, and uh, you know, we saw the effort we got from the from the guys that were out there. So, uh, again, couldn't couldn't be more proud of it. You know, and for the you know for the men in that room, you know, they deserve better. I mean, they deserve better than than, than three wins, and and uh, you know that, that that that's on all of us. You know, tough way to end it. Um, but just you know, frustrating, frustrating for them because I see how much. How much they put into it? How much goes into it? Uh, and to and to not to not have the success is uh, is hard to watch. I'll open it up. Mike, have you been told anything from the owner about your job status? No, I have not. If you had a chance to plead your case, what would you say? To me? Uh, I, you know, I'm not in. I'm not into pleading. You know, it's it's something that. Uh, you know what, what what gets put out there. You know how we attack work every day. You know the players. You know that 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 to me is is the resume. How hard the guys play. The effort that goes in. How how we practice. You know what you know what we do in in, in meeting time. Walk through out on a practice field. How that carries over to the game field. So, uh, I feel like you know we we've done a lot of good things. But uh, you know I'm the first one to tell you. You've heard me say it a million times. This is a pass fail league, uh, and the results aren't there. But it's um, no, nobody wants to hear it takes time. Nobody wants to hear it's a process. Uh, but that's you know, that, that's the situation that we're in. You know, I feel we, we there, you know there's there's a good young nucleus here. Uh, you just you, you don't have to look any further than this this past draft class, especially as the the year went on. Um, a lot of those guys playing playing at a high level. So. Uh, Again, I'm I'm just not. I, I'm a you know what you see is what you get kind of guy, and and uh, you know as I've said earlier, you know I said earlier in the week or in the last two weeks, I love it here. Passionate about football, passionate about the Cleveland Browns. I you know I love I love the city. I think these are some of the best fans in the league, if not the best, um, and they deserve it. And that, and that's. You know, if if it does go the wrong way for me, that's that's my biggest regret is 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 not being able to deliver um, for these fans that have suffered for a long did time. You, did you ask Haslam Friday for your status? It was reported that you did, and he refused to tell you. Yeah, that's is not correct. Did you talk to him no. at all before the weekend? Um, here we go again. Johnny Manziel was he in Las Vegas last night? I don't know. I wasn't. <laughs> so, uh, to me, when it, when when guys are are uh, you know, do we we have a protocol for them. They're inactive. I don't have the, all the information on that yet. Um, but my biggest concern was was the uh, the guys that were going to be out there today, getting prepared for the Steelers. Would you would you, would you require him to be here during a game, and would you have wanted him? Well, the guy, the guys in the concussion protocol are, are not permitted. Okay. Well, they can be in the stadium, but they're not required. Okay, but they're they're not they're not permitted to be on the sideline. Are they is permitted that... to travel? We we do not travel our. I don't know what the league rule is, but our policy is we do we do not travel. Okay. We do we do not travel our. Like if we were, you know, the guys that had concussions when we went to Kansas City did not come with us. But I mean, are they permitted to travel on their own if they desire? 
That I don't know. I, I got to get with with uh, with Joshi. This is, I mean, this is the first I've I've heard of an example like this. So. Hey, Mike, in fairness to you, there was a, another report out today that said at halftime of the Kansas City game, you guaranteed a win, and also at the, during the Cincinnati second game, uh, <laughs> you said I might. You told the team you might be. I might be getting fired, and you guys haven't really lived up to your end of the bar, and you haven't played hard enough. Well, wow. I'm paraphrasing that part of it. Yeah, that that would be over too. Uh, people that people that know me and know how I am. That, that's that would be grossly out of character for me to guarantee a win and and call our guys out for their effort to save my own job. I mean that's that's just about the polar opposite of who I am. Um, if Johnny was in Vegas, I mean, how would you react to that? Yeah, let me let me gather the information on it. I mean, it, it would it, it would be disappointing. I mean, I, I could just I'll, I'll leave it at that. Disappointing. Go ahead, like right now? All these questions that you're now facing, this negativity you refer to, would you like to meet with Haslam today, Mr. Haslam today? Do you have any plans to meet with him? Uh, I don't, but I'm, I'm sure the I mean, end of year meeting always comes very quickly. I don't know whether it could, could be tonight. I'm going to go back to the office, so it could be tonight, it could be tomorrow. Would, and ideally, would you like to know tonight if you're coming back? Uh, yeah, I just think for the sake of the... Um, you know, for the sake of the staff, I mean that—that that to me is my priority. I got a responsibility to tw twenty plus families that, that uh, you know, would would like to know their, you know, would like to know our status. That, what you said about the concussion protocol is that the teams. Uh, that I'm not sure. I just know we don't. I just don't, I just know we don't we we don't travel. I don't know whether that's the, part of the league's policy. Uh, I'd, I'd have to follow up with that with Joe Sheehan. Mike, I, Johnny. Uh, was he sent home from a quarterback meeting because of his knee created this week? No. No. No, that is not the case. Mike, everybody else in this room and everybody in the stadium saw the reports that you're gone and uh, Farmer's gone. Uh, does that uh, seep through to you, uh, or are you impervious to the report that everyone uh, here saw? No, I, I, I'm aware of it. So, but I, I just know a lot of stuff gets gets uh, gets floated out there. So, uh, you know, as I've, I've I, as I've said before, it it should be a topic of speculation given what our results have been. I mean, that's you know, it's it it is bottom line business, and and there's no there's no column. You guys don't have a column in the newspaper for moral victory. So, uh, you know, our record is you know we've we've won three of our last whatever it is 20, 21 games. I mean, that's just it's not good enough. Anything else? Did you see Terrell Pryor and um, his development as a receiver? Did you, anything? Did, did, did he take a step or anything late in the season here? Uh, he did, and that, that's why it was good to get him on the roster and, and get him get him playing. Uh, I, I think the, the big play that he made is indicative of what he's capable of. Um, but there's a lot of, a lot of work needs to get put in there to, to, to get him polished. But uh, no, I mean I think he it's it's obvious that he. He possesses the skill set, and 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 he needs to play. That that's why I think you know, a good off season, you know, OTAs and mini camps and, and and a full training camp. Um, you know, that I, I wouldn't bet against him making it as a wideout. I mean, uh, it's that's it's hard it's hard to do. We talked about it way back when, uh, but but he certainly possesses the mentality and the skill set. Did you say goodbye to the guys when you broke it down in there? I didn't say goodbye. I mean, I went around and saw, and saw some of the players, but that's more of a more of an end of season type thing. I mean, I'll, I'll uh, you know, hopefully, you know, regardless, we'll be in the building tomorrow and we have a team meeting, and um, you know, I'll, I'll get a chance to talk to guys then. You know, whether it's you know either direction. Given the fact that, that Jimmy didn't come out and give you the uh, you know the vote of confidence in the way that some of the other uh, owners did over the past week, do do you feel like? Like you're gone. No, I'll. I'll uh, I, I don't have a feeling. I mean, it's just I was dead focused on the Steelers this week, and you know now that it's over, I'm gonna at some point tonight have an adult beverage of my choice and and uh, and, and and see where it goes. So no, I I, I I just don't get wrapped up into that. I mean, it's it we we. As I said, preach to our players. Control what you can control. Worry about you know the worry about the things that you have control over. And, and um, you know, staff wise, we're we're in that same boat. When you do have that adult beverage, what, what are you proud of? What do you walk out of here today? I'm I'm proud of uh, just when you when you watch us play. 
If, if, you, if you didn't see the scoreboard, uh, I don't know if you would know. You don't, you don't see our guys quitting. That, that to me is one of the things I'm most proud of. Because you know that's when guys have bought into what you're doing. And, um, you know, that's, it's the professionalism, um, the competitiveness. When, when, you, when you fill your roster, when you get more of those guys and fill your roster with those guys, you're, you're, uh, you're, you're going to be successful. So uh, just despite the tough times that we went through, uh, with with the losses, just just proud of you know the, how our guys showed up every day, and their approach. And I can't tell you how proud I am of, of the uh, of the coaching staff. I mean, you look you look at you know offensively what we were able to accomplish this year, threw for over 4,000 yards, r rushed for over 1,500. You know, I think that's only the you know fourth you know team in Browns history to to, uh, to do that. Um, you know, and de defensively, it was it, it was tough. You know, battling injuries and lineup changes, and you know, we had, we had our struggles. I mean, I, I can't. I'm 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 proud of that staff. You know, proud of those guys. And um, you know, they they showed up to work every day and and left no stone unturned and went out on the practice field and tried to get it taught. And um, you know, unfortunately, we came up short. Last one. Uh, coaches uh, and their fate is, is often tied to. Uh, the quarterback and the, and the performance of the quarterback. Your, you know, first round starting quarterback, supposed starting quarterback, last year and this year has been, you know, for the most part, basically a mess over these past two years. Uh, how difficult is it to be successful in the NFL as a head coach when your starting quarterback, you know, is just completely well, I, I see where you're going, and, and his issues have have been have been well documented. Um, you say mess. I, can I say work in progress? Uh, but the, if you look at our season and what I just said, the quarterback room, we've gotten great production and, and some damn good leadership from that room, and, and that started with the signing of Josh McCown. Uh, you know, he's he's been outstanding, uh, and he, he was our starter. He got hurt. Johnny Johnny stepped in. Uh, and, and I thought Austin did some good things too under under some some tough circumstances. So uh, I, I get it, but I'm not going to sit here and use an excuse that that just because we had drafted a quarterback high and and he's maybe not where he sh ideally should be, uh, that, that 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 was that that was the downfall of of uh, of what happened here. That was the reason. All right.